Well, hello, this is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is John, and we're here in the springtime, which means we're out back in the Manistee National Forest at Nordhaus Lake. Uh, we're here, we're gonna just hang out the rest of the night, have some steaks, uh, go check out the rivers that you scouted earlier, that Drew checked out, catch us some steelhead. Yeah, we're gonna try really, really, really hard to uh, lose some steelhead. And Kara's gonna dig a hole. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> we'll our fire die die down a little. We got some good coals. We got the grill over it. We're gonna go grab our awesome steaks, season them up and throw them on and uh, get us some dinner going. All right, it's steak time. Oh yeah. Look at that. Delightful. So we got them seared on both sides. So now the trick is to raise the grill Now they're up off the heat. They got this nice sear on them. I'll show you the other side. Look at that. Whew. And now we just spend the next hour looking at them, trying not to drool too much. All right, the steaks have been going for you know about 45 minutes. Sear grill mark in there. Uh, cut them open to check them. John's is the way he likes it, mine's the way I like it, so we're going to take it off now, just the whole grill, and let it rest off to the side for a little bit, and then build a little more fire up so we can get our water boiling for the potatoes and stuff. Oh yeah, you think you're going to get some? You're probably right, but not right now. All right, I'll have to get steak. She just got some steak and mashed potatoes on bread. We're going to sit here and gorge ourselves, and I'll probably cut up some steak for Kara, but... We're gonna build the fire back up. It already is a delightful evening. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too. Sun's starting to go down. We got the fire going a little bit more again. It's starting to chill off. As it gets darker, it's gonna get chillier. But we're not gonna be up too late tonight. We gotta get up somewhat early so we can get some good fishing in. Uh, yeah, we gotta make some pancakes, get up early, make a nice campfire breakfast. Okay. Yeah, we got cast iron pants, so we know it's gonna go easy. Then we're gonna go hit the Manistee River tomorrow. We got all our wood split already. We're gonna have a nice, quick fire in the morning. Less work in the morning is always. Yeah, breakfast nice. should only take an hour instead of our usual three. Dick tip. Plan ahead. We need to get Dick out camping more. Yeah, we do. Hang in with a hang in. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. Even without Dick tips. So Kara and I are just getting ready for bed. John's crawling into his hammock, and uh, you know, thus ends the first day. We're gonna wake up early tomorrow so we can have a fire and cook some pancakes. Hit the river. Night, John. Night. Night, guys. Oh, good morning, Kara. Good morning, Drew. John's up too, I've been hearing him whine all morning already. It's raining though, so we're tucked in bed, enjoying the heater for a little bit. We'll let you know when we get up to make breakfast. Hard to make pancakes in the rain. This is what it looks like when we're waiting for the rain to stop so we can leave. Kara's sleeping. John staying warm. So yeah, we're just, you know, hanging out, waiting for the rain to stop so we can make breakfast and go fishing. Could be worse, could not have a dog. I have you on tape saying you don't like dogs. I don't. Oh, the wood's a little wet, so we just got some more sticks and stuff and we're gonna start getting a fire ready so we can, so we can clean out our cast iron and make some pancakes, eh? Good morning, John. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Kara. Good morning. As usual, we've made a wonderful fire. Kara's just off roaming around. Warming up. Yeah. We're probably going to start cleaning that cast iron because it's got a bunch of leaves in it. Start heating it up. Yeah, the fire's roaring. We're just letting it clean the rest of the fat off the grate because great time for it. Ready for some pancakes. Camp's looking great. Look at John's hammock. It's a little, a little saggy there. Yeah, probably the wind. 
We'll check back in when there's meaningful progress. So this is pretty good for the first pancake of the day, you know, we got a little butter in the cast iron to get it going. Got it all evenly heated. And that's that's our results for the first pancake of the day. That's pretty good. It looks delicious. That's uh, pretty good for the first pancake of the day. So pancakes are done. Oh, they're uh, super good. Of course, we got plenty of butter. Maple syrup. And maple syrup. Worth the effort. So we're going to eat our pancakes and get ready to go fishing. Finished up breakfast, got our stuff dried off from the rain this morning, and took a hike out, and we're going to go to the river. Catch us some steelhead. Or whatever. So we're just getting ready to get on the river. We decided to start with the Little Manistee at uh, Stronach Bridge, Old Stronach Bridge. John's just prepping himself his two-handed spinning rod. I got my fly rod ready to go. We're going to try and make a go of it. You filming? Good. Did they get me getting stuck too? Oh, good. That's, I don't know if I got you getting stuck in that. That's like the most trout stream fishy thing ever is getting stuck. It's wet flies, so they sink. So I got weighted line instead of floating line. It makes casting really weird for me. Never really tried it very much. But the general idea is you get the fly as far upstream as you can, and you let it work its way back down. But the leader I got put on this right away was not very good, so I'm going to have to swap my leaders out. We're gonna try and find some stony bottom. Having a good time. The thermals help. Nope. John's found himself a spot on the other side of the bridge to start working from. I stepped out to get warm for a minute. Let's see how he's doing. So what John's doing right now is called indicator fishing, wet fly on a little double-handed spinning rod. Got a little weight on there and a bobber and he just tosses as far as he can up the river and lets it sink down and the bobber just holds it at the right depth while it drifts down and he lets it drift down as far as he can and then reels it in and tosses it back up. It's uh, similar to what we were doing at that pier in the UP. The river's a lot faster though. We've been fishing for about an hour just dinking around. I, I threw a cast way too hard and separated my uh, reel holder from my rod. Luckily it was made by my dad so I have a manufacturer's lifetime warranty. John and I are thinking about fishing around here a little bit then we're going to go check out the weir to see if they're at their egg count yet and letting, sa and letting steelhead through to see if it's worth trying to see the rest of the river. This whole thing was underwater the day before. It's a weir, it's loud, it's noisy, but it's a weir. We're at the weir. There's a bunch of other dudes fishing down here, so we might not fish here. This is the weir where they collect the eggs and sperm from fish for all the fish hatcheries. There's the fish ladder. There's the collection facility. John's just putting on the waders. They're a little big on him, but you know. Same idea, still works. He's gonna, you know, I can't really do much until I get my reel fixed. and So he's gonna wait in there, cast his drift line for a little bit, see what's up, and then we're gonna ride back into town and find some glue to fix my reel. The majestic fisherman braves the strong waters of the mighty river to cast a line and dip, hoping for the hopeable, a fish for dinner. Godspeed, brave fisherman. So yeah, John's just going to dip a, dip a fly for a little bit. Kara and I are going to hang out on the bank and, you know, try and get some pictures here and there. So there's John just fishing in the river, filming him from a bridge. He waited down a little bit. We're just down the river a ways with John. He's working out a little snag issue. Gorgeous river, though. Lots of good bank access, good wading. Kara thinks it has good smells. Oh, Kara's excited for John to go fishing. 
Nope. Oh, I think John's gonna call it good for the day. Yeah, he casts around a little bit. You know, had a few snags, because the fish are all in the parts where you're gonna snag up, but oh, I think he's just coming over here. He's gonna come over here and see if it's less snaggy. So John just came over to the other side to wade in a little more and float past all these logs and stuff, because this is like perfect, but I've been here for a couple hours. I haven't really seen much of anything happening yet. Kara likes the water. So we're probably gonna pack up soon and go find some glue for my rod. Look at all that is man though. Get the car, John's suited off. Just gonna close up, run to town to the store. Oh, hello. So we've just been getting the fire going up, you know, cause it's getting a little chilly. And uh, had a little more food and uh, we're gonna start prepping the ribs here in a little bit for dinner. Hashtag Nelson's Meats. Hashtag. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make some ribs. They're gonna be delicious. Thank you, Nelson's Meats. Ooh. What is your deal? You want on my lap? Okay. Okay. How's that? Is that is this? Is this what you want? You want your coat? Are you cold? Kara just wants to be a star.